hello all welcome to this session in this session i am going to answer software testing interview question 331 that is what is behavioral testing let me answer so what is behavioral testing behavioral testing is also known as black box testing okay both behavioral testing and black box testing are different names for the same type of testing so in behavioral testing that is black box testing we perform testing on the application that is given to us using its visual graphical user interface of the software application okay without looking it into its internal code structure or whatever the code that is written by developers okay we just test the software using the visual graphical user interface of the software guys okay so nothing but black box testing let me show you an example for example if this kind of application is given for testing okay and if i have to test the search functionality i will use a graphical user interface of this application here i'll type hp here okay i'll type hp and click on the search button and see whether the appropriate product is getting displayed in the search results or not this is one of the tests i'm testing using the graphical user interface of the application and this is called as behavioral testing which is also known as black box testing here nowhere you have seen any program code running okay program code which is written by developers for making this particular functionality possible is running in the background guys okay is running in the background of this visual graphical user interface that as software testers we don't have access to there are four levels of software testing if you already know they are unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing coming to the unit testing and integration testing they are generally done by developers and they are and they fall into the white box testing category okay they don't fall into the behavioral testing or black box testing category they fall into the white box testing category where the code is accessible visible and testable by the developers but coming to the other two levels next two levels of software testing that is uh, either system testing or user acceptance testing here black box testing will be performed that is nothing but behavioral testing will be performed in case of system testing that is a third level of software testing and user acceptance testing that is a fourth level of software testing in third level of software testing that is system testing the software testers will test the system as a whole complete system they will test using the visual graphical user interface of the software and the main focus that the software testers will have while testing the system testing is they will see whether the developers have developed this particular application according to the client given requirements or not this is the main focus that doesn't mean that the application is built according to user needs and expectations also will be taken care but less importance or less focus will be given to that particular aspect in the system testing by the software testers but coming to the last level of software testing which also falls into the black box testing category that is behavioral testing category that is either acceptance testing you can call or user acceptance testing again this uh, acceptance testing or user acceptance testing is divided into two types first phase alpha testing will be done as part of user acceptance testing then beta testing will be performed as part of uh, second phase of the user acceptance testing in alpha phase the client side business people who know the business well and who generally know the needs and expectations of the users who generally interact with the customers or end users real users right they'll come up with a checklist and go to the developer side and give their feedback and uh, make the uh, and make the developers make the changes such a way that the developed software meets the user needs and expectations okay that is alpha testing here client side business people are playing a role okay in testing so they also do the black box testing that is behavioral testing okay for giving the feedback and all those stuff okay so the main focus in uh, user acceptance testing i mentioned right uh, not more than client given requirement the more more focus will be on the user uh, user needs and expectations okay in beta testing also same thing guys uh, the more importance will be given to user needs and expectations here the software will be released into the market okay so as part of beta testing software will be released into the market okay so it can be closed beta or open beta in case of closed beta only for limited number of end users or customers the software will be released uh, so that the feedback will be collected from them and uh, the the user needs and expectations can be known well by the company and uh, they can do the modifications in the software and uh, in case of open beta it will be released to everyone in the every, complete public in the around the globe and everyone can use the software and provide the feedback okay by by using in their daily needs 
okay that is a beta testing okay in beta testing also open beta closed beta is there but here this is not the real release in beta testing the software is released in a manner where to uh, in, indirectly they are trying to make the real users test the software and provide their feedback okay and uh, mention their user needs uh, their needs and expectations so that uh, a proper version of the software can be finalized and released in the next phases okay so hope guys you understood what is black box testing which is also known as behavioral testing here using the visual graphical user interface of the software the testing will be performed where the software testers or real uh, real users or end customers or client side business people doesn't have any knowledge about the internal code structure or internal code or internal program that is developed by the developers for building the software okay no knowledge of the internal working of the software only by using the visual graphical user uh, visual user uh, user graphical user interface they will test the software okay as part of behavioral testing or black box testing so hope guys you understood what is behavioral testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye